Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're looking at the Vetro Lurker V240. This is an all-in-one liquid cooler and it is their most updated version with AM5 and LGA1700 support. So let's get into the unboxing. Okay then, so this is the Lurker V240 from Vetro. And let's have a look. This is the updated version, which is for AM5 and LJ1700. They're the other ones that it does support. It does go right back actually to FM2, so which is quite nice. So let's have a look. So it's full ARGB, PWM, it's a three pin sync interface, FDB. Uh, but that. Now, the overall look does actually look quite nice. I do love the white. So let's take a overall, actually, see what else they got to say. So, actually, there are the specs for the pump and voltage. There's the RPM of the fans. That's the airflow. And there's the noise. And then that's what it looks like. E-type liquid channel. So I'm assuming, oh, right, so it's black. Okay. So let's take a look. So we get some foam. Nice. We get a user manual. Let's have a look. Okay, so oh, it's actually quite big. Oh, that's upside down, never mind. Okay, so wow. Look at that. Wow. Very detailed. It actually tells you for every socket. Wow, very cool. Look at that, that's loads. Yeah, over there. It actually comes with an RGB controller. Wow. Now look for AMD. So it does utilize the backplate and it utilizes these horrible little clips. But I'm assuming AM5 is different. Okay, so look at the fans. Okay. So rubberized all sides, but here, but that, it has got a metal part in the middle, and obviously it's a DC 12 volt rated current, 0 0.22 amps, and it says www.veto.com made in China. The fans ain't heavy, there's no heaviness to the fans. So they are 4 pin, which... I love to see and this standard ARGB so no propriety cables now let's have a look at the well there's actually quite a lot in here so let's have a look right so this is the included ARGB thing so hold on. there we go okay, so ooh all right, so it is, it's powered by SATA, then you get this ARGB connector, then that just goes to your motherboard, and then it comes with modes, so you can connect four fans, which, wow, no, actually, yeah, four, four ARGB, that's actually good, that's really good, four ARGB fans, so that's actually good, you can also daisy chain and because it's connected through SATA, won't have to worry about losing signal, so there's that, comes with a fan splitter, very nice, and then this is all the mounting hardware, so that is for Intel, I do not like these type of mounting brackets, but Intel doesn't come with this mounting bracket, so I'm assuming that's AM5, and then there, oh, there's the AM4, and there's all the accessories. So let's put all the accessories away. Yeah, right. Grab that. Right. Let's have a look at the overall housing and the pump. So let's have a look. Okay, so. Wow, that's actually a big base plate. That would definitely fit AM5 and AM4, but I know that LGA1700 is rather long, so I don't know if it will intrude by these screws, but that's one of them things, and the pump header is a 3-pin. 
Now, I did request a white. Oh, wow, look at that. So there's no fancy, like, branding on the rad itself. It's basic. I believe this is an Acetec design. But it does look rather nice. Now, I'm assuming the ARGB illuminates through here. Now, it does have nice tubing. What the hell is this? Warranty if removed. Oh, is that a fit? That looks like a fill port. Unless, oh, look at that, it's a sponge. So unless that's to relieve air out of the system, I don't know, or pressure. But it looks okay. So the next thing to come from this, it will be the review. And, of course, that review will be coming next week. So, yeah, like I said, the review for this will come next week. And big thank you to Vetro. Now, I have got more products coming from them. I've got two air coolers coming from them at the end of September because of stock and they like to send things locally. I've got to wait, but I've got this to review in the meantime and I'm going to be getting one of their dual tower big coolers and, and I'm also getting the Vectra V5, which is a very popular one on Amazon. And of course, it's going to be cool to actually look at something that's very popular at the moment. So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and as always, this is Rich from West Tech. Goodbye.